So welcome to the Dirty Valley Village where people just make up parking spots. You know why birds fly upside down over this Valley Village? Just kidding. So this week, you know, is a very dry thrift store week. However, we get the scooter. We get the freaking scooter. I'm so happy you can join me. So a little background on this scooter. Uh, for people who don't know, I made a mission for myself, a target to buy a scooter, but only pay for it, not out of family funds, but just out of flipping things at the thrift store. So for good, out a month, two months, I've been just hustling hard flipping uh, thrift store finds. And I'm using that profit to pay for the scooter and everything else included with the scooter, you know, insurance, the helmet, uh, upgrades, whatever. Well, this is yours. I'm trying to make a fashion statement. And that's daddy. The hair and shit like this. This is not the regular Valley Village that we go and visit. It is far from our home. So I'm looking for my wife right now. I'm supposed to be looking at a scooter right now, but I think the guy slept in or something. Oh, that one. Anyways, they have all these French goosebumps. Yeah, it's probably her. And I really want to get them for some reason. But you buy five, you get one free, right? They had all these old toys in here. Anyone know where this horse is from? He looks like I should buy it. But anyways, they have like a bunch of vintage like accessories in here. And I don't even know 100% where they belong to, but I think I should grab them. Like this one has a Casey Jones thing in there. And a Power Rangers Morpher thing. $1.99 bag for this guy in here. I think the uh, best thing to do is just take it home and take a look at it all in the house. We already kind of picked through these walls. I think I'm just going to take a chance on a lot of this stuff. I feel like they're Ninja Turtles or something. Sometimes Some of them are G.I. Joes, I bet. But we're going to see. It looks like enough, enough quality here. Would you buy this bag just for Casey Jones's bag? You guys remember Casey Jones? I'm Casey Jones. Well, now, you do have quite an interesting employment record, Mr. Jones. Casey Jones. Well, he went undercover. Also, I'm wearing my wife's mask right now. Uh, yeah, I was supposed to look at a scooter this morning, but the guy, I guess his phone died. He just texted me back. So we're going to head back there and look. That's a new logo for Surf Dweller right there. Um, so we're going to go pay for this stuff. I'm going to actually take a chance on some of it. All right. Let's waste this pile of junk. Thank you for joining me on the pickup portion of the video. I will just go over those Ninja Turtle toys real quickly that we found at the, the Valley Village that was far away from my house. Sorry for the lack of videos, guys. I've been saying it a lot. We will catch up. Spent a whopping $33.14. So a lot of this stuff, I didn't know what it was. These horses looked very interesting at first and this is what caught my eye. $2.99 minus 20% off. Look at this horse. This is a big horse. Look at that horse. Look at that horse. You guys remember that? It looked like I should buy this. It didn't look like just the regular cheapo action figure. And you look at the bottom there. Mirage Studios Playmates Toys 1993. <laughs> yeah, 1993 for that toy. And on the screen right now, bing, will be what this is. A lot of these questionable items that day. Look at that, another 299 horse. It's like Ganondorf's horse, man. You can't barely see it there. It says 1993 Mirage Studios. Look at that. It comes with this thing here. This guy, I believe, is also from Ninja Turtles. 399, minus 20% off. I bet you, in that movie, I can't remember. It's been a long time since I watched it, but I bet you there's one character whose name was Yoshi. Oh yeah, I cut my finger the other day, packaging stuff for eBay. Look at that guy. I believe he belongs right there. Anyways, on the screen, that's who he is. That's where he's from. That's what he's worth. Yeah, there's more of this stuff. This Mighty Max style stuff, $2.99. Looks like Toka or Razor. But I have a few of these Ninja Turtle little playset things. This one looks like a Technodrome thing. On the screen is the value. I just thought this was cool, man. I have a big box of Turtles toys that I just throw all these, uh, you know, I guess you call them Generation 1 Ninja Turtles. 1994. I have a box in the garage actually. I just throw all my action figures there and stuff. These are just interesting bags. They had some interesting items in them. Let's start with this one first actually. $1.99 minus 20% off. Where is this guy from? 
Everyone in the comments, let me know. It's still a 90s thing. <laughs> look at bootleg Roger Rabbit. Oh, E.T. E.T. action for you. This is, I think, what caught my eye. 1995, six, Toy Biz. Oh, yeah. Yeah, buddy. That's it on the screen. That's what it's worth. That's where it's from. It is Monday morning, everyone. Good morning. We're here in line up, as always, at the Valley Village. We brought a buffet. Let's go. Donuts? Yep. Where's my coffee, though? Fuck, You're such a want. lazy for the sake of the camera. Oh, yeah. This is for the sake of the camera, bro. <laughs> this is for uh, for the video. Ooh. I like the double chocolate. I'm gonna get some fucking double chocolate. What Thanks, bro. Get? Double uh, chocolate. Boston cream. Boston cream. Hey, man, you look like you need a. What are you looking for today? Okay, good. You said video games, I'll see back. <laughs> back in line, buddy. <laughs> This is really a nice way to start the day. A nice little donut. Fantastic. Thanks, Chico Cholo. Four layers of pants. Eight jackets. Morning, bud. Yeah, no, thank, thank you. No problem. Okay, good luck, Cholo. All right. I woke up early for this. Nothing. All right, let's see what else we can find today. Good morning, shoppers. So this is the new showcase area. Hopefully, nothing. Anyways, I looked at some scooters uh, over the weekend. Some people definitely overhyped their listings. <laughs> How could it be like new if it has a dead battery? All right. Today is Monday, so it's not like the big restock day on Monday. That is tomorrow, Tuesday, our favorite day of the week. Hay is really dry. Look at, remember this place used to be just like full of stuff? It's all empty now. I'm sorry, that looked factory sealed for a second. Okay, so not much today. I got like a bag of clothes here. I'm probably only gonna make 20 bucks off of this $3.99 bag. And that's about it. See you guys later. <laughs> it's Tuesday morning with the homie, Cholo. But, hey, did I tell you I'm buying that scooter tomorrow? What? Yes, buddy. I'm buying a, uh, it's a 2017 Zuma. Well, technically it's BWS, yeah. It's like 400 kilometers on it. So excited. All thrift store money. Shout out to all the people who commented on the Cowboy Kid video. Well, I don't want to uh, record this line, but how long is that line? Oh. Is it up to the winners already? Oh, it's yeah, it usually it's is. Too, <laughs> I'll just go like this. Senior's day and it's all the young <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, man. Good luck. Okay, I'm just gonna go in case they put out something. But we're gonna be quick here, guys. Nothing. Just talking with the boys, like there's nothing here. It's dry today. I woke up early for this. So welcome to the Dirty Valley Village where people just make up parking spots. It's already disgusting here. So, I'm kidding, I'm half joking. Can't wash the stink of this place off of me. Just kidding. You know why birds fly upside down over this valley village? Just kidding. I like the guy who's supposed to be like clocking all the people who are coming in. He didn't even clock me, just, he's working on his Rubik's Cube. JJ was here the other day. So, oh, looks like there's some stuff today. I don't know this game yet. Strikes again. Beautiful. Next to Lux, I've never heard of that. Oh, 
Die Hard Vendetta for the GameCube? What? I, this is my second look too. I missed it the first time. That's a crazy thing. So, uh, looks like somebody just took a bunch of clothes home. I'm loving it. So, anyways. What? She like those? As much as I rag on this place, I made up with a pretty nice little bundle here today. This is what I found here at the store. So as much as I rag on this place, oh, I'm just joking. Yeah, we find stuff. Watch out, there's a car behind you, hon. This is uh, the roots of Thrift Dweller right here. This is where we started when I first, we had our first house. So this is like the regular one that we went to. So I'm just joking when I say this is the dirtiest thrift store in the city. Thank you so much. <sighs> a little bit of a cloudy day. It's happening, boys. It's happening. I gotta scoot home in this cold weather, though. I just hope it doesn't rain on me. It's a happy day, boys. It's a happy day. But how does it... It's sick, right? All this for a scooter. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm gonna hit the thrift store still today. Talk to the boys. All right, it's 9.30 in the morning. It is Wednesday. Let's get the scooter. 9.30 in the morning. Give, throw it to me, bro. <laughs> it's okay. Don't worry about it. <laughs> ah! Let's do it. Nothing could ruin today. Hold on. If I throw it to you, will you catch it? I got it. I got it. Oh. Weak. I think today, finally, they got some gams, it looks like. Ah, it doesn't even look good. Good games. Anyways. What's on your box? It's funny we had chalk in here, so we just graffiti the floor. Or the cement. Shells, bro. There's just shells and paper. You mean shells? Shells. Wow, it has been drier than a desert up in here. So a buddy of mine from work is driving me. I'm giving him this statue as a thank you, I guess, for driving me there. I got my helmet on. It's really big, actually. And we're going to go uh, pick up the scooter, hopefully. That's not going to... This is my homie, Big L. <laughs> we got it. So excited, guys. We, I, I didn't want to record myself doing the test drive, so we parked in some random back lane here. And uh, just giving it its paces, man. It's good, right? It's not bad. It's fast enough. It's got to get home. Anyways, we'll talk more about this at the house. So this is it, the last surviving scooter of Raccoon City. That's the theme, bro. Yamaha, you didn't go with the ruckus. No, I went with Yamaha. I was like, for my first one, I will be dependable. Yeah. I don't want to show the street, so I'm just going to show my scooter. <laughs> so in the 2017 BWS 50, 50cc, nice. has like 400 kilometers on it. Oh, that's awesome. Like nothing. The lady got pregnant after buying it, I think. <laughs> and then she's like, I can't ride anymore. I'm like, sweet, I'll buy it off you. Uh, it's all thrift store money. It is about 7.30 at night. The post office is about to close, but I thought I'd go for a late night scoot. I have one package to deliver to the post office. Uh, this is definitely not gonna be like my go-to to the post office to carry lots of stuff, you know? But uh, yeah, I've been riding this all day. I rode it all the way like across the city. And how much gas did I even use? Barely anything. Like Jesus, look at, look at the kilometers of this thing, look. Man. Killing it. What a good day. Got my scooter, got a chase figure. Oh, for my first time gassing this puppy up. Premium only, baby. I overspilled it too. I spent four dollars and fifty-six cents to fill this puppy up with premium. That's crazy. So, uh, <clears throat> honestly, truly, sorry for like the delayed videos. Uh, I've, I don't know if I've said it before on the vlog or not, but just dealing with some family issues really set me behind on the vlogs. Uh, nothing really pertinent for this vlog, but I will try to catch up to everything. Um, 
the rest of this week was pretty dry at the thrift store. There were some fun highlights, like when we're waiting outside to get in before opening. You know, straight up Sahara Desert in that thrift store. Nothing fabulous, but I did get that scooter. I love that scooter. Um, it's been a couple weeks now since this vlog, and I've been using that scooter primarily as like my main uh, transportation mode. I, I love it. I can't wait for you guys to see like the following vlogs where I, I, I don't know, take, I finally get like a chest mount so I can take some road shots with uh, the scooter. To me, the scooter is much more than just like a utility or like a toy to play with. Um, right now, the, the more I'm riding it, the more I feel like it's my zen place. Or uh, if you read Ryan Holiday, where I find my stillness. You know, to me, it's like the perfect metaphor on where I am in life right now and what my mind state is, I guess you could say. Look at this. Disgusting. Horizontal games. Anyways, that's it for me, Nate. Peace. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to uh, subscribe to the channel if you want. Take care of yourselves and each other.